Discovery Channel cameraman Brian Weed, who went on a test dive in the doomed Titan, has made some shocking disclosure about Oceangate CEO Stockton Rush. Weed was working for the Discovery Channel's TV show Expedition Unknown in May 2021 when he got a chance to board the Titan sub, however, the expedition was later cancelled. The camera person, in an interview with foreign media, revealed that he had a very strange conversation with the Oceangate CEO. Weed shared what Rush told him would happen if they got lost while bolted inside the submersible that imploded last month with five persons on board. He said, well, there's four or five days of oxygen on board, and I said, what if they don't find you? And he said, well, you're dead anyway. It felt like a very strange thing to think, and it seemed to almost be a nihilistic attitude toward life or death out in the middle of the ocean, he added. Weed also lamented Rush's cavalier attitude towards basic safety, which made him feel uneasy from the start of the test dive, which, he added, was plagued with mechanical and communications issues and aborted. That whole dive made me very uncomfortable with the idea of going down to titanic depths in that submersible, he added. After severe backlash, Oceangate has announced to halt all activities indefinitely following intense scrutiny and controversy over its safety measures. The Titan sub was reported missing on June 18, and the U.S. Coast Guard said on June 22 that the vessel had suffered a catastrophic implosion, ending a rescue operation that had captivated the world. U.S.-based Oceangate said on its website that it had suspended all exploration and commercial operations two weeks after the tragedy, in which company CEO Stockton Rush was among the dead. Also on board were British explorer Hamish Harding, French submarine expert Paul-Henri Narjolet, and Pakistani-British tycoon Shahzad Dalwood and his son Suleiman. Experts, last week, recovered presumed human remains from the sub-wreckage that was found on the ocean floor and taken to the port of St. John's, Newfoundland in eastern Canada. The victims are presumed to have died instantly when the Titan, about the size of an SUV car, imploded under the crushing pressure of the North Atlantic at a depth of more than 2 miles, nearly 4 kilometers. A debris field was found 1,600 feet, 500 meters, from the bow of the Titanic, which sits 400 miles off the coast of Newfoundland. Oceangate Expeditions charged $250,000 for a seat on its sub, but previous concerns over its safety policies came to light after the implosion. The U.S. Coast Guard and Canadian authorities have launched probes into the cause of the tragedy, which occurred after the Titan lost contact about an hour and 45 minutes after plunging into the ocean. The Titanic hit an iceberg and sank in 1912 during its maiden voyage from England to New York with 2,224 passengers and crew on board. More than 1,500 people died. It was found in 1985 and has become a lure for nautical experts and underwater tourists.